What's up, guys? It's Run Back here. And we're going back into some more Slay the Spire Downfall of Runa. Last time, we did the Gremlins, and I wasn't happy with her performance, so I'm doing the Gremlins again. Um, if anyone has a problem with that, I'm sorry, but I like the Gremlins. Uh, I'm also feeling a bit better today, so I'm hoping for a bit better performance. I was not very happy with how we did. Uh, I feel like there's so much more potential in these little gremlin boys. Uh, elite, question marks. Ugh. I don't really like any of these paths. I really want this bonfire. I could bonfire this way, maybe? But I only get one elite. Two rest. This is technically on the left side the best path. But I think I'm just going to skirt down the middle here. Hope an early relic. There we go. Happy flower. I do like that happy flower. Boy, uh, this is a mimic and this is going to suck first thing. This medium sized mimic is rough. Uh, we have temporary strength boy. It's not who I want. Let's tag into my sneaky friend. Alright, let's get, just try to really lay on the damage. Alright. Uh, we got one extra defense, but we don't need it. Oh, 21, you say? I'm sorry, Sneaky Gremlin. Uh, you're going to be offering your life for this for this man. Uh, unfortunately. Oh. Huh. I'm not sure what happened here. He survived. I don't know why he survived, um, but... One more attack and we would have been able to like finish this, but we do not. Uh, we should just play the treasure tokens just to get a little bit of coin here. Coin in shape of souls, but uh, you know, the best currency. That one we're going to defend again, and I'm just going to play this. Technically, I could have switched to shield gremlin and been a little better off, but that boy's dead. Okay, we survived. And anchor. Anchor is very good. Now, again, with these guys, we're looking for strength gain. Uh, and I'm willing to meet lantern would be good. It also doesn't like conflict too much with too much stuff. Cannot lose strength. Ooh, bubble barrier is really good too. But there's flex. Flex is also very nice. Hmm. So good though. Unforgive. You cannot lose strength. This seems really good too. Like pair it with flexes. Actually, let's try that. I've never picked this card up, so it might not be very good. It is a power. Uh, we have attack, they get weak. So let's do this. We also get so much energy, which is a ton of value. Plus the anchor. I mean, we are like doing great. So this paired with the mad gremlin on like the shopkeeper is going to be like super nonsense. All right, we're going to tag. Give me that mad man. I do like the mad gremlin. Oh, I wanted a different gremlin. Not the one I meant, but it does not matter too much. Let's play that defend here. We'll gain a little bit of strength here, and we should see how this strength works. So yeah, we just gain it and don't lose it. So if I hit this man again, um, eight, it's not going to kill him. He'll go down to six, though. We have five blocks. So the strength shouldn't go down. Yeah, we just keep it. Okay. Okay. I I'm feeling, I'm figuring out how this works now. So Mad Gremlin is the, the boy of choice here. Remove a random debuff. That actually would be good, but before we have the, like, uh, the power up there. But I'm not going to take it yet. This freezes cards in our hand. This one, we take one each damage. Kill two instead. Can't play it. This actually will work with Mad Gremlin, I think, though. There's that temporary strength. Actually, it might not. Hmm. Bulk up's good, too. Let's actually take that. Because if we get red shoes again, we're going to need that. Gain a common relic. Let's just do that. I don't want decay. Baseball. Bulk up is now free. I'm fine with that. Got some flowers here. Mad Gremlin is, is boy of choice, and but we do not get to play him. That being said, we still can do a little bit of stuff here. We'll get one of these butterflies down. Plenty of block. That anchor going good for us. Alright, there's the one we can't play. Tag team. We do need a way to swap around then. Uh, do not play Punishing Bird. That is the worst move you can do. Play both these and just call it today. Alright, Punishing doesn't hit you directly, which is nice. Okay. Switch to Fat Gremlin. Um, this will lose to strength. We need more attacks for the deck. Or the deck is a little attack light. Sip of coffee here. 
There's unforgiving again. Happy Flower, you are not on the correct turn to be able to provide uh, any additional benefits for that. Luckily, it's not ethereal. An upgrade on that would be very good, but I think Bulk Up will be our first upgrade target, if that makes sense. Especially since it's free from the baseball. There's Fragment of the Universe. Did not in a... Nope. I should have just taken it. Oh, there's Flex. There we go. We're, we're getting going. We're... we're uh, I'll... Uh, 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 uh. I can't play Bulk Up, which sucks here. I really just want to... Oh, wait. Unforgive. We have a bunch of extra stuff here. Um, we're going to defend here, and then I'm going to... I don't really want to gain the Wiz. It actually doesn't help me, but... I guess it doesn't hurt, technically. We have three, so our next attack will do an additional 10 damage. Which is good. Next time you play consume with and deal, yeah, deal an additional 10 damage. Making sure I had that right. All right, so really what we want to do is we want to tag team into Mad Gremlin. He's the guy of choice here. We want to gain strength. And then we just really want to like uh, defend up here. 15, a little bit of healing. And the healing is because we... Why did we get healing? It's because of the birds. If we have a debuff, I think. Which this guy should have constantly. Um, I mean, 24 damage here. Not bad. Both those two. Uh, take none. That multi-attack here. We're going to gain more strength. We're up to 8 already. Oh, 12. <laughs> okay. Yeah. This is going to be a fun one. So 20 damage to one. Going to damage to the other one. Block again, which we don't need to because we have bulk. Up. Well, we do because of the gifts. So we're still going to take four here. But, you know, just 18, just 18 uh, strength. I think we can, uh, I think we can do something. Yeah, I mean, we're just going to continue gaining it. The problem is the gifts will are going to eat our attack and then we get hit. But 28 does 56. So. Very good. I really will need some... Uh, healing. Uh, Spire of Hanye do 10% temp temp more effective for every stack past the first. Maximum of 30. So this is good for the, the fat gremlin. That actually works really well. Uh, cat scratch. That's what we need. Oh, we, we got some going. A uh, princely hat's actually fine. Uh, I'm, you know, I could have been like convinced to take the key just for the max HP since we're Mad Gremlin is going to be taking a walloping, um, but we really, uh, what's the word I was looking for? It really shouldn't matter too much because it's, you know, split upon 5, 10, so it'd be 2 HP, like max HP apiece. Oh, we cannot play the Unforgive. That's actually not great. Um, defend, defend, cat scratch. All right, so we're doing some damage. We're going to take three here. But we healed a little bit because we had a debuff, I think. If I remember that correctly. Uh, cat scratch here is good. I'm going to bulk up at the end of the turn. And then, well, hopefully we can switch back. Since we can't play the Unforgive, it doesn't, like, specifically matter uh, who we are at the time. 15 coming in. I really don't want my, my Gremlin lad to take that. Actually, what we'll do... As we'll go shield, defend, uh, so we won't take as much. Oh, actually, we don't, don't take any. And we have the uh, the uh, the shielding. Ugh, 20 coming in. We won't take any of it, but it still stinks. Yeah, we need to get some damage. The Because we are... Well, I guess the paralysis is gone now, so it doesn't matter too much. Get some damage in. Even better, it's just mostly to get those cards play to get past her winter inception I think is, is the way that is uh, cat scratch here is pretty good uh, lose two strength uh, I mean she gets weaker the more we hit her we actually are taking nothing here yeah that, that relic's actually gonna be very good we have like a mixed like bag of stuff but I'm pretty happy with it so far um, <laughs> all right let me read crumbling armor when this card Exhaust gain four strength and add it. It's whenever we play skills. I can't take it. If we had more max HP, it'd be awesome. Uh, or if we get potato, it'll be awesome. 
However, without both those combinations, I can't, like, be convinced. Uh, bulk up's actually good. With the additional weak, the, um, and the additional health we're gonna need to take damage, uh, I'm pretty happy to have the bulk ups. I think I'm gonna go with, let's do the, the free decks. Never not gonna be good. Um, and then, I think the upgrade on the, I wanna do the unforgiving, but, pain. Bulk up's so good though. This is a power, but we need to be able to play this. Because if we don't get it in our first turn, um, where we have the additional energy, it's hard to play. Or on a turn where we get the happy flower pops. And we have a Violent Dawn here. Fruits of Understanding. These don't look like fruits to me. These look like hearts on the ground. And I'm not much of a fan of it. All right, they're doing all doing something. They all have thorns. I don't really, really specifically like. Um, they're not attacking, so let's, let's bulk up here. Let's start, I don't really want to do that much damage. Well, we have 18 blocks, so let's see if we can get some damage on one of them. Alright, and then we're going to just defend and let the tag team lapse for now. Oh, they're exhausting cards in our deck. I don't like that. There's the Unforgive. There's the bulk up. They have no attack. I mean, I can continuously poke them, but if they're not attacking me, what's it matter? Technically, though, worst case scenario, if we lose, if they exhaust all the cards in our deck, which it feels like they're doing, um, we can smoke bomb out of this. If for some reason we get into a stalemate where we can't win. Ow. We're gonna take a beating here. Uh, okay. Oh, two of them died, though. Interesting. I'm not specifically sure why. So 12, we need a pretty good amount of block here. Let's tag team into shield. That would have made more sense earlier on. I should have weakened him first. Let's just not attack again. Actually, four, yeah, one attack's fine. Oh, we didn't get our five. Oh, they all got away too. Well, they all left, which is fine. Whenever you lose HP, gain one region. If you don't lose HP for six turns, lose ten. I don't want that this time. If you have no. If you lose more than six HP in a single combat, you die. I think if I lose more than six HP in a single combat, I die anyway. I, I'm fine with that. Sports girl, no. Very festival. We're not playing many, but I think I'm okay. I, I plan to take some to play. Ooh, edible armor's good. We're not getting that much block though, but. Hmm, I actually think I still want it. I need ways to like stay alive here. And we're, we're pretty defensive, but we also have a, like, with Unforgiving, we have a long game here that we're playing towards. Um, we have plenty of block here. So let's draw the two cards more than anything. And then we'll hit them both a little bit. Yeah, we're fine. Getting a heal in before we get to the boss would be kind of nice. Let's... No. Tag team first into shield. Let's defend. Defend. Edible armor. Get all that defense. And then bulk up. See? That's kind of what we need to see. Pretty much increasing our max HP. Temporary max HP. Alright. Bunch coming in. I'm not too, too worried. Let's flip over to mad. Let's get that defense going here. We're not going to take anything. Um, so we just kind of want to lay on the damage now. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Alright. Six strength here. There's a flex. Bulk up. That's the one we can't play. Got to remember that. Uh, we'll do this. We'll play all three of these out. A little bit more. Alright. They're both defending up again. I had so much trouble the first time we fought these, and I'm surprised it just, it kind of just goes very well now. Gremlin to all, one's dead, you're also dead. Not bad. Nope. Oh, you, okay, you can take. Huh. It's just gone. We had this. Yeah, I don't know where it went though. If you have any debuffs at the end of your turn, heal two instead. I'll take another copy, I guess. 
Uh, we apply to her all. I rest her shield and wash your hand. I like Gremlin Arms. That's pretty good. Alright, here's the one we really wanted. Uh, but not a good assortment here, though. Um, so let's just get a lot of block here. 30 block here, and then we'll Cat Scratch. Um, if we could switch to the Mad Gremlin, that's really what we're going to want to do. There's Unforgiving. Yep, there we go. We, we have the, the kind of the combination here. Um, so you want to go Unforgiving. You want to bulk up first. My, I mean, might as well lose two strength, and we'll tag team into Mad. Okay. There we go. So minus 10. Plus 10 strength. Flex again. Gremlin arms. There's the two ships we want. Oh, I can't play that strike. That's fine, though. And I definitely don't want to play Punishing Bird. Oh, here's a good turn. Hopefully we can get some damage in. Okay. Uh, we're not going to get any more, so let's really switch to our damage dealer. And we got two wards on the crack. Unfortunate. That sucks. Alright, black army do not need to discard this card. Nope. And heal one. And if then you turn an exhaust arm card in your hand, increase the cost of that. No. I don't want that because it's going to get... I can end up being locked. I should have looked at that card. That's fine. Random curse. I can't get calipers. But it doesn't really matter too much to me. Another flex could be good. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's the only one that's kind of catching my interest. Flex on card removal. I can do exactly, I think. Yeah. We'll do that. Let's get out a basic... Think Strike. And I don't really need the Mindus coin. I could have taken it and got something else, but... That's where upgraded flex. There we go. Upgraded bulk up's also good. Oh, rage break though. Five block, double your strength. That's inevitability right there. Yeah. I can't not take like a big closer. Oh, this is gonna suck. Okay, there are 15 damage coming in. Um, I think we start with bulk up. Okay. And then I want to get back to Mad Gremlin, but I can't. Gremlin Arms here. Got the ward. Um, I guess we'll just go for this for now. I mean, that's 35 block. I will hit the one in the front and just continue. Okay. I guess it's better to have a Gremlin with low health in front to heal themselves. Double flex. Okay. Tag team into Mad. So we really want flex because this is also healing in a way because of the, the bird. Alright, and this is the guy we want to have the strength anyway. Alright. Bunch of days this time, which I don't really like. And he also has the AoE damage card. Um, we want to unforgive. This is zero to all, so I need to hit one of them first. And then this is ten to all. There we go. Not too bad. We've hit a pretty happy medium, I think. On, like, healing and, like, damage cards. Until you run into a turn like this. That's 20 damage. Well, I mean, we're technically still blocked, though. Overall, this does not end up mattering. So 10 damage here. Get one of you gone. Catch Scratch. We'll get another one of you gone. And I'm just going to he heal some more. Because we're debuffed. Okay. Flex. Um, I don't really need to bulk up here. I think we just kill and continue. I think next floor we're going to be looking for a good um, upgrade line. We have a bunch of cards I would like to upgrade. I think I will take a fragment of the universe. Actually pretty good. Another cat scratch is also very good. Alright, hello my friends. Alright, let's... Yeah. Flex. Let's... Bulk up. Get this guy out here. Matchsticks are not great, but we're gonna weaken them down anyway. And then we will hit this guy in the back. Make sure everyone's kind of weak here. And he puts burns, right? Yep. 
All right, cat scratch again. I mean, we should flex first. You're dead, you're dead, defend. Okay. And then I think, oh, 22 here. Not very nice of you. Uh, give me that shield, Grimlin. I mean, I think I'm okay. Yeah. But still, that was not as good on you. Oh, we took some damage too. From something else. Not sure quite what. Adrenaline potion here. Counter strike. Plus one left for every two strength you have. Deal five damage three times. Yeah, actually, that kind of fits what we're doing. Now, hopefully, Unforgiven is not the one that's. One card is going to be unplayable, so hopefully, it's one that we can take advantage of. And also, we have a good starting hand here with the edible armor, and we got double wards here. I mean, that's what we want to see 40 uh, temporary HP. What's really good about the temporary HP is it stays between all the gremlins. It's not like it's looped into one gremlin. So we're going to get the mad gremlin out here. Start getting some uh, stuff going. Alright, here we go. We just need the Unforgiven now and then we can start. There we go, Unforgiving. There's the Rage Break. I think we hold off just a bit on that. Because we can start really getting some value. Probably on the next pass of it, next time we see it. Alright, so Flex is the card of choice that's been hit here. Uh, we are still good. Fury here. 13 by that much. Alright. Not taking anything. See, that opening turn of that edible armor is actually, like, super valuable. Get Gremlin Arms here. Ah, double shivs. Not specifically what I wanted to see here. Okay. Still fine, though. We're up to 10 strength. Okay. There's the Rage Break. Yeah, and with the four, I mean, I think this might end the fight. It does. <laughs> Not too surprised. Um, nothing here looks spicy enough for me. Languish Potion. Uh, I think I'd rather have that than the Smoke Bomb, probably. It might actually be Languid Potion, but... I've never used... Knob. Mutate until time runs out. I mean, we have to try it. I've never done it, so... You no longer gain souls. Breaking keys cost no souls. I I'm kind of okay with the energy. I don't think I've seen it. It's Hectoplasm. Alright, let's continue our ascent. Alright, we're looking for upgrades. I really need to... Upgrade a few cards. Also, beating a shopkeep would be... Kind of interesting to me. Uh, there's a good three path. Yeah, right here. I can do a shop or I can do the bonfire. I think bonfire does get me a little bit more here. Ooh, toke a card out. That'd be kind of nice. Yeah, let's get out a... What's not great? I have some defensive cards. Like, I have Fragment, Gremlin Arms. But I kind of like need it for the edible armor. Let's just get a basic strike. Ends up being pretty good still. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Upgrade a card and duplicate it. All gremlins lose one HP. That's fine. What card would that be though? Flex maybe? Flex does seem pretty good. Another set of bulk ups would be good too. Hmm. Could I upgrade this one and duplicate it and be, be free? That's worth trying for me. Boom. Did we get another free one? There's the free one. We do! We have two free ones now. That's actually totally great. So the only... Oh, this, these sweepers are not going to be fun. The only fear I have coming up here is I think we're going to run into a place where we have more energy than we can play cards for. Well, there's Noob. But dang, they are hitting us hard. Um, 20 temporary. I got to try it. I've never done this. Room the knob. What do you, what do you do? Add three knob card or noob. I don't know if it's noob or knob cards to your hand. You can no longer swap prevent further damage and revert back. Okay, so it's like a full turn buffer plus some extra cards next turn. 
I'm, I'm curious what this is going to do to us. But I'm very excited. <laughs> uh, we can't play bulk up. Can't play cat traps. So, 34 here. And so my guy turned into this guy too. Which I have to keep in mind. I can't swap though. It's the only downside. Like, is it really that good? Well, we're about to find out. So we have Bellow. Serial, two strength for each enemy that does not attend to attack. Well, they're all attacking. Uh, ethereal, six damage, two vulnerability, Skull Bash. Rush, just Ethereal, 14 damage. Okay. I mean, I can see how that's good. So let's hit them. Uh, let's, I mean, we should just Bellow just to play it. I should have applied the vulnerability first, if I was smart. Yeah, he's definitely going to die this turn. But now I know what we are, what we are dealing with in terms of the Gremlin. So 20 here. It does suck we lose all that H that HP though. So they all... Okay. Did that guy die? Yeah, the Gremlin Wizard dies for that. That card is not as good now. I was, I was curious how it would end up working. And I, I'm, I would like a refund. It is not as good. Yeah, now we're behind. Like, our guys are much, just much better on their own. Um, give me... Ugh, not a good hand. Um, we want a tag team. Let's get shield back out. Get a little bit of extra value here out of these flexes. And then we'll bulk up here. And then I'm just going to kill this man. All right. That should be fine. Should take no damage. Uphill climb. Okay. 20. That sucks. Fury's here. Lose two strength. I can gain a fair amount of block. This is also some block. I draw. Yeah, let's draw two. Give me something different. Still not that great. Okay. Gain this. Um, so this costs less now, though. If I double it, it's going to cost nothing. So this is 13 for 3. That's a lot. Alright. Boom. Boom. We did get to where we could play everything. And we weakened this man, so... I think we're actually still good. <sighs> okay, 20 coming in from that guy. I just want him dead, so this does 12. You're dead here. Get that temporary. And we want to hit this guy, so he is not attacking us anymore. Still going to take a little bit of a wall up here. But overall, that should be fine. Well, there's Unforgive at the, like, not the best time. Um, let's arms here. Oh, two attacks. Actually, not that great. I think I still Unforgive because everything else is free. We're going to bulk up. I should done this a little different. Tag team into shield. Shield into flex. And then we are just going to shift this man. 26. Yeah, we're going to take a sizable hit. Uh, go ahead and drink the counter potion. I mean, the dude's not dead, but we did take, take some pain. Okay. You're dead. You're dead. Almost dead. Now you're dead. Okay, Flesh Idol at the first four turns. At the end of the 18th turn, you die. I think I'm okay with that. I don't want any of these. I don't want any of these either. I think it's Bubble Up Barrier. A little bit of passive stuff. Relic, gain doubt, give a card in your deck, retain and exhaust. If I give it to a power, we can just hold it till we can play it. Like, Unforgive. I think I'd rather just have the Relic, though. Oh, 64-bit Clover is actually very good. Every normal enemy fight. Special Relic. I don't know if I've seen this one. Loot the corpse. Goodbye. The first attack you play each turn, each combat deals double damage. Give me another curse, though. But Ride is not that bad. Let's do it. All right. We need to... I want to rest first, I think. Unfortunately, take a rest here. Give me my gremlin back. And the next one will do something a little better. Tin flute. No, give me that key. And I think this key is going to be 
Yeah, it's free actions now just for free. So give me that max HP. We're all up to 18 now. Smith, you suck. I'm 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 very disappointed in you. Edible armor being free is kind of sweet in the bowl barrier. I think edible is more uh, universally good. All right. Hello, shopkeep. I did want to see you at some point. Uh, I can tag team, which is good. Um, we're gonna tag team into mad. Make sure we already have this set up for next turn. Go ahead and edible. Let's go ahead and cat scratch. I think whatever they do to us, we're already set up for for victory. I did not get the the retain one. That's fine though. Go ahead and flex. Give ward. I think we'll have it into next turn. I think if I remember this right. So if we get the card next turn, we'll be fine. Yep. And there it is. Unforgive. I wanted to make sure it was not going to mess us up. Alright. 14 damage is pretty dang good. Or 14 strength. 16 strength now. I just need a good all bulk ups. Well, I mean, we got one attack. But that's very unfortunate. Uh, I mean, we'll just do, do as the cards do. I mean, we'll play some more. It's not like they have um, flow, but... I need some more attacks, is what I'm learning here. It is part of the problem, though. Uh, dum 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 dum. No, I'm good. Okay, there's an upgrade. There's another rage break. Which the knife's pretty good too, but I think rage break is what we're kind of looking for here. Whenever a good one dies, deal thirty. I've never seen that one. Deal thirty to all enemies. Pretty nice. I can see how this is good. We are just going to go with the remove the doubt here. Weakness is crippling. And very sad for us if we get it. We don't get more money, so I don't know if we'll get our money back from our... We're actually probably will not get the money back from the shopkeep. Alright. Hermit, how do you do? A good edible armor term again. Not switch. Two shifts. Not really what I wanted to see. And bulk up. Give me that defense. Uh, we'll do this. And then we're just going to hit this man. I, I think we are just going to ignore our uh, Blind Fury guy. And hope that we can just um, survive through his attacks. I'm not going to have a lot of defense to give him. Uh, there's Unforgive, which is perfect. Bulk up again. Alright, we do need to switch to our, our, our good old boy to take advantage of this. Alright. 18 to all. That's fine. Bulk up. Yeah, we need more attacks here. Or draw power. I could, I could go for either one. I have no strength, so it does not matter. Ow. Ow. Okay, that's fine. I wonder if I could have hit my servant if it, to weaken him. I still need ways to get to the mad gremlin. Alright. I mean, this is a start... Um, double my strength here. That's eight. No attacks though, so that helped me very much. Okay, summon up his doll again. I wonder if this guy dies. What happens? Okay, nice gremlin dance. Finally, give me that mad gremlin. Let's start start doing this correctly here. Fourteen to all. Ow! What just? Huh. I don't really know what specifically just happened there. Did we... Oh, it was on Gremlin Dan? Oh, and I played that. Yeah, and I killed him. Whoops. Um, let's throw this on my guy. I can't. Throw that on him. Yeah. Whoopsie do. We're gonna lose another one probably here. Well, I did prevail, but man, did it hurt. None of these really help. Art of War is fine. Pinprick is pretty good. Uh, I do need to get to this rest. ASAP. I mean... I could just do it, even though it's not that great. Do this. Now, what if I do this? Yeah, we don't switch. So, I mean... 
this is fine. Now, if this, if my gremlin leader survives, do I get my guy back too? Is what I want to know. This dude pretends to attack, so we want to go skull bash first. Rush. Um, I can't switch. Oh, this is just gain two strength for the gremlin dance for him. Okay, not bad, and he's just dead. So I do get my guy back. Okay. So he does. You're not just sacrificing him to the gremlin leader. Two pin breaks. I do like pin needle because they are also draws. Give me another rest. Unfortunately, I need my mad gremlin. Or our, a lot of our strategy is null. I do not need an ego card for this. Losing that max HP would not be very good. Okay, you. Um, let's see. Tag team, mad gremlin, defense, pin prick, pin prick. Okay. Double that. Not really useful here yet. Okay. We are fine here. Two strength. Yes, we are not set up yet. There's Rage Break, which actually would not be bad. Why did we switch here? Oh, we played, yeah, for the, that, never mind. I was confused for half a second. Uh, let's go ahead and Rage Break, actually. We kind of want to get this dude dead sooner than later. His next turn, he should be doing his big attack. He is. Um, but this should be fine, because we're going to pin needle. Bulk up. Gremlin dance. He's going to lose even more strength. Defend. I mean, we're going to take a little bit of a hit. But it's not going to be that bad. Usually, that's the one that would kill me. So, uh, I think we're fine. Flex. Bulk up. Prick. There's Unforgiving. It's a little late now, though. I think Fury just gets it. Yep. Okay. Our list, that's fine. There is Arm Theft. It's actually pretty good. Does need an upgrade to be very useful. And we're up to the Scarecrows. Oh, hello, machine. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Arm theft. I mean, I can take two strength. I mean, I should just take the strength from him immediately. No reason not to. And yeah, we'll just poke him some. He does heal, if I remember correctly. Or we're not retaining anything good here. Alright, there's noob. Don't really want that. Rage break, not, not necessary. Uh, pin prick's gonna be good for draw power. He's gonna continue summoning doubts. And he has a couple other ones he summons. I mean, part of me is like, use this just to have it, but I don't really want to yet. Oh. I still haven't decided the advantage of it. Okay. Rage break, flex, dance. None of these are particularly good. All right, well, armor up here. Let's get this one hit. And I don't want to double my strength yet because it is not as good at the current moment. Yeah, he's stacking. Oh, okay. Bubble barrier. Give me that mad gremlin. We're going to flex. We're going to defend here. We are fully defended, so I'm actually going to leave the bulk up for now. I really need the um, the strength, so let's start gaining that. All right. And no pinpricks here, though. Are actually, we might be able to draw into what we want. A bunch of them, too. It, there's unforgivable. That's what I wanted. So that way we can keep that nine strength we have, which will continue to increase here. Now that all these are dead, this guy can take a hit. And we should be golden. I mean, 11 strength isn't a lot, but we're gonna, we can double them up now. Yep, there's the rage breaks that we were looking for. I mean, might as well just do them both of them. Like, we don't get to attack this turn, uh, so we might take a little damage. And we're going to take a sizable bit of damage. Um, but 44 strength. Actually, I don't want to take that much. Secret weapon. We can weaken. Gain three shielding. An attack. No, let's blind this guy. Nine plus... Yeah, we're good now. And I think we can just go for the machine, really. Oh, he took one of my strength away. But we just gained all the way up to uh, 64 strength. 
Okay, it doesn't matter who we are, so let's just hit this machine. I don't want to continuously make mess around with it. Um, I have six, so we're just going to continue here. Another sip of coffee. All right, 70 strength. Do all enemies? Yeah, that kills all the the bots. And then, I mean, does it really matter? But I guess, oh, we should have done that first. It did matter, the ordering, but I did not take it into account. Uh, blind, poke you, bulk up. We need a cat scratch is what we need. Ooh, two of these guys. Not as much fun, but this machine's dead, so. Oh, but these guys still exist for a while, apparently. That's unfortunate. Uh, I'm going to do this then and do this. Just to get some extra um, HP. Because if not, we would have taken a little bit of damage here. And, I mean, poke, poke. All right. Um, Whenever anybody dies, draw one card. I don't... We tried this one, and for some reason, it was messing with us. I think I still want to try it again, though. I feel like we're powerful enough to kill everything. It was the shopkeeper that was getting us, but I think if we fought him again, we probably got this. So. All right. Hello, my my silent friend. Oh, and unforgiving in the first turn. Like to see it. All right, we're going to go with the strike here. Pin Needle being not usable is kind of sad because it's a very good card. Alright, this is double team one. Unfortunate. We're going to switch to you. We're going to boop. We're going to boop. And we're going to boop. So we have 17 here. We're going to take some of it. So we're not going to keep all of our HP here. Our, well, our shielding. Okay. Uh, I need to hit you to arm theft. So let's get a shift. Boop. Go ahead and arm theft you. That's fine. Yeah, then we want to be mad. Ward up. Flex. Scratch. Alright, we should be good now. Between the healing we have and the um, strength we're about to start gaining, I think we're going to be in a good spot. Uh, I mean, I really want to do this, but we kind of need to bulk up. Um, Gremlin Dance here is fine. Pinprick Flex here is good. I do want to bulk up so I don't take that much damage. Um, and they're going to lose two strength. We're good now. I think the card we're looking for most is the one... There's a card to switch between all the Gremlins. Um, and we really need the one to switch to the Mad Gremlin, I think. Uh, Rage Break here, I think we're at a point in time where that is fine. And we'll hit you with this. Defend up. And at 22 strength, I don't think we have to stay the Mad Gremlin. I, I don't think it's a race to the clock anymore. It's just uh, keep poking until, you know, they explode kind of thing. But if we have the avail availability to, I should have done this a little differently. Flex. Ward. Shiv. I could bulk up again. I'm not going to. Because I mostly just want to uh, gain more strength. There's the second Rage Break. And that should be a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. I think we're good. I think the fight's over. <sighs> Not too bad. Flex. Um, the unfortunate part here is I can't actually kill them. Because, yeah, he goes to that. He's dealing a ton of damage. Let's muddle and do this. Only so we don't take any damage here. Keep the fight perfect. Because we're going to survive, so it's not like I have to worry about it. And this perpetuates me to have two attacks. Like, they can't get through it. Um, nope. I need attacks. Uh, of an attack in your hand, it costs one less. Make two echoes. That could be good for certain reasons. Curse key is what I'm taking. More energy. We need more draw. That is what I'm looking for. Draw and ways to turn into Mad Gremlin. Um, boop, doop, boop, doop, boop, boop, doop, boop, boop, doop. That's why I want to go. Sorry, campfire. Your path is just not as good. I'm not going to be able to read three of these, unfortunately, I don't think. 
Uh, arm theft to two strength. Rage to gain five block. Not very good. Cash scratch, do you get an additional time? You do. That's pretty good. Do you get more times? Seven, three, no. Let's do cat scratches here. With the strength, the more times it hits, the better it is. There's unforgiving. Pinprick echo, that's fine. Um, let's bulk up, and then we're going to tag team into mad. Then we're just going to play some defense here. Take no damage, continue with our day. Alright, already up to 8. Oh, up to 10. <laughs> it's just nonsense. Like, flex, rage. Um, I mean, I don't even need to... I mean, I might as well play arm theft. And we're just going to bulk up, you know, 25 strength. That's fine. Another bulk up. This is why I love these ones. They're just a lot of fun. Um, Gremlin Dance. Can I switch? I can't. So we want to do this, we want to do this, we want to do that, this, this, boom. And flex, fury, noob, turn into the big boy. I guess this is fine. I wish you got his attacks when you played the card as like a way to fill up your hand. It sucks that you kind of have to wait a turn. Um, because you could just end up taking a big hit, but overall, it's fine. Arm theft. Going for that strength gain. Runa got Casahedron. It's probably going to give us a one, but that's fine. There's Sneaky Gremlin. Do we have another Mad Gremlin one in here? This card two. Eh, not bad. Shield Gremlin. Gremlin Wizard. I don't even know which one gives you the Mad Gremlin. I mean, Pinprick Plus also could be very good. It's like two free uh, card draws anyway. I think that's what we're going to take. Alright, Heart of Aspirations. Another Unforgive 7 energy on the first turn. Gimme Madman. It's also just, it's like so much good setup here. Alright, hit me guys. Get going. Alright, if we can double it. And then, if we draw the AoE attack, I mean, it might just be over. We did not. So, bubble. Theft. Two wards. Cat scratch on one of you just to kill you. Oh, and there's the AoE. It does not kill you outright, unfortunately. Cat scratch is just way better. Uh, but, I mean. A couple pokes. A duplication of fury. And that's... That's what I was looking for. That's why I put duplicate in here. Uh, there's red shoes. Yeah, we're we're on the backswing. I mean, this should be pretty easy from here, hopefully. The only thing that really is going to um, mess up like our, I guess our style, is when that meat lantern uh, hits our um, hits our good card. I can't think of the name of it right this exact second. When it hits our unforgiving, that's when we're going to be sad. And it almost, I, I haven't, it might not be correct. It almost might be worth sacrificing a, a small child for that. Um, we're going to duplicate cat scratches. They are all frozen, which sucks. So I have to break this, right? On death, on freezes. Yep. All right. I do need to kill this one, unfortunately. Um, we're going to pins and needles here. Arm thief. We got to get this dead, unfortunately. Uh, flex up a little bit. Pins and needles. Um, 21 here. I mean, we're going to bulk up first. Whoever we get is going to survive. So let's get Madman. Let's defend here. Take nothing. But that's going to give us some more strength. Because this has got to die. There's Unforgiving. Red Shoes. Pinprick. Ow. Ow. It does give us strength. Um, oh, we're gonna take some damage. Let's go ahead and muddle everything. Yep, that's what I was hoping for. And then we can defend here. Alright, 36. Gonna take 10 more. Ow. But this thing's dead. Which frees up our hand to do this. And this. And it's just over. 
I can't think of anything I'd want out of the bucket pool. I'm just taking pinpricks because they, they cycle. Uh, it's fine. Gelatinous cube. Whenever we draw status. Draw a new card. Okay. This is going to be a kind of tough one because we got a lot to balance here, I think. Um, pinprick. Let's see what the card draw is. Not that great. Common cold is fine. Edible armor on the first turn is always exciting. Um, I'm going to go for... We got to go for the damage to start with. No reason to pray Rage Break. Unfortunately, we just... We need, like, um... We are wasting a lot of energy. 19 heal the full is fine, but it doesn't heal all the gremlins. It only heals uh, the frontline one. Does not work correctly, unfortunately. Oh, we have five here. We need days. Let's do... Can't play arm theft, which is fine. Uh, I need to slap you. You lose two strength. Okay. That's fine. A uh, bunch of dazzled in here. But we have five energy. It shouldn't be too hard to keep them going. 99 kind. The pinpricks here are going to be really good for this part. Like, I can go poke. Um, and it's going to be fine. Let's cycle through. See what cards we have. 22 coming in is kind of a lot. But we're going to still go for Madman. We have enough stuff going on here to make it worth it. Rage Break is not worth it yet, unfortunately. As much as I love these sages of the forest, um, they actually don't help a lot. They're not strong. They are just kind of soaking up damage. Oh, this is a bad hand. Well, it's an okay hand. Unforgivings. We got to play these two dazed. Um, unfortunately, I don't have another attack here, so we're going to do that. We're going to defend, and I'm just going to not play bulk up. I, I need to start getting the strength up. Six is not really where we want to be. Especially when he's putting three of these in our hand to return. Well, in our deck. Typically. Because you get hands like this. Okay, Fury is free. Let's flex. I know I'm going to do that. I have five to deal with. I can duplicate and play all three of them. Not very good. Duplicate. I should do this on you. Unfortunately, it's going to hurt you a lot. Play both the Furies. Here's the question. Do I... Well, it's only 24. When retain, and their status, sort of exhaust a lot of them. Um, I think I want to arm theft. Which arm theft do you want? And play one of these. We'll focus on the other two's next turn. Because we do have turns where we have too much energy. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is a terrible hand. Um, all right, pin pricks here. Get this going. Oh, and we need a pinprick you. Um, actually, can I just end it here? 17? No, I can't. Definitely can't. Rage break. I need to play some of these out. I'm just going to play three of these one cost ones. And then call it there. If it costs four more, it becomes unplayable. So, I think these two are just going to stay in our hand and rot. But we have enough strength. If I get some attacks, we should be able to end this fairly quickly. I mean, actually, I'm going to do this. One of these guys is just dead. I can't, I can't stop it. So, all right. That means we're going to take more damage on our turns. Nom, nom, nom. Bird's gone. Okay. Then bricks. Uh, poke you. There's the unforgiving. Yeah, scratch. Oh, wait, we dentured that. I was wondering why that was in the deck. I was like, I thought we already played this, but I forgot we grabbed denture. Um, was it cards created or upgraded? Okay, that works for our wards and our um, our shivs. Not too bad. Let's smith a card here. Um, duplicate becomes what? Not exhaust anymore. Is that good enough? I think so. I think it's pretty good. Filling our hands with Furies that we could play for nothing is kind of nice. Hello, Pinocchio. Alright, we're going to... That's the best turn. Arm Thief you. Oh, it, it just does nothing. It gave us... Yeah, because he has the um, artifacting. I didn't know that. 
I've never tried to arm thief someone with artifacting, so. Alright, he is copying us verbatim. Ooh, this is a weird one. I want a pin needle. I want to duplicate the Furies. I'm going to do this, and we're going to do this. Two upgraded shivs. Not bad. We did weaken them substantially. Oh, the Echo's exhaust, though. So that's only very good when we have strength. Now there's the Unforgiving. He is done with that, so we can Arm Thief him, and we're going to weaken him into November. We're also going to gain a bunch of strength doing so. Um, bulk up. Cat scratch here. Just to perpetuate the weakness. Alright. Flex. Now it's time to get mad. And then we'll scratch. And then we'll defend. And we should be able to just coast out. I love seeing the different combinations of stuff we can kind of do. Heal the fool. That's fine. We didn't need it. Um, like, I didn't think... The Punishing Bird was that good, but in this specific deck, it's very good. The extra strength perpetuates, you know, good combos, and um, we can block enough to keep up with it. I thought it would dwindle down our health too quickly, um, but it's felt very nice. Uh, Sharpened Blades is just nice. I still really would like some upgrades. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm going to go for the card upgrades here. Um, Pinprick is great. Would you go to 30? And no, I think Cat Scratch is the is the choice. Does seem like we're shopkeep. I do need to kill you here, or I'm gonna lose max HP. So, um, this is a bad turn for this. Really need a two shivs here to make that worth it. Ugh, gross. 16 random rare potion. Draw five, randomize the cost of your hands. Actually, kind of okay. If it would have done something different. I mean, the bulk up's good. Ten pricks can draw me a card, but yeah, Punishing Bird is not it. I wish I could retain these Rage Breaks. Yeah, not not enough. I'm fully protected from this turn, pretty much. You create for a Echo of a Pin Prick. Yeah. Not, not, oh wait, there's Tag Team. There we go. We can at least get into Mad Gremlin. Um, well, I can Cat Scratch. I should duplicate the Cat Scratches and at least get the damage in. I mean, at that point, there's no reason not to. But I don't think I can kill him. Specifically this turn. His block is down. I mean, we will get the strength, but I don't think I can hold it. And without being able to double it, I don't think it's going to... Yeah, I don't think it's going to be enough. Yep, because there goes the strength. Got back down to two. I can't do 200 damage this turn. There's Unforgiving, there's Arm Theft for another strength. I mean, I can cycle back. Get the pin pricks. There's Red Shoe, okay. That's something. Hold off on Arm Theft. Fragment, Bull Bear, Unforgiving. We're up to six. I can get seven. I should do this. I mean, that was the best portrayal of that. So, they will get away. And everyone's max HP goes down by half. Down to ten. That's disgusting. I wasn't even shooting for shopkeepers. Oh, well, we have no money, so it doesn't matter. Preserved Insect would have been nice. Um, I think I want the Elite. We'll see if we can do that. This guy, we're just going to... They take less damage. Uh, and when we block, they uh, lose that much HP. So, nice to know. I guess let's pinprick first. Bulk up's fine. Arm theft is fine. They take less damage, but we're just going to kind of power through that for a little bit. Alright. Unforgiving. Defend. Uh, let's go ahead and rage break here for the edible armors. Overall, that does damage to him. Wasn't much strength, but at the same time, it's fine. Okay, 15 flex. I'm just going to arm theft just for fun. Yeah, and we're going to pinprick a lot. Uh, two bulk ups. I mean, might as well. And then we'll perpetually weaken him. And then we'll gain block. Uh, 
prick, prick, needle. Uh, I mean, I should just duplicate uh, fury. Not a lot, but it works out. Yeah, none of these. Melting love was kind of interesting to me, but I think we're fine. One more lead. Oh, you. I think we're fine for this, but they do suck. Um, let's go. I do sneaky. Actually feels like sneaky might be the right move here. All right, we're going to pinprick. Take damage. That's going to get very painful very quickly. Uh, there's edible. There we go. Now these shouldn't hurt us. There's noob. Could be kind of nice. There's the flex. I mean, I don't see why I shouldn't do this, honestly. So, that'll soak up a lot of damage here. Okay. There's Unforgiving. Bobble Bash. Bellow. To give us more strength, up to 10. 13 and 19 is a lot here, but we are still good. Let's pop some vulnerability on this backliner. And we will rush and hit them. We do take some damage, but overall, we still have max HP. And this happens every turn. 32 from you is a lot. I'm, I'm going to be honest. Um, let's pinprick again. There's Fury. We're going to make everything free here. And I'm really just going to go for like damage on this backliner. I should have made him vulnerable first. That was my bad. But 32 is... That's a lot of damage, but... That's dead. And there, it's over. Surprised you actually got through that unscathed. Uh, another pinprick is just good. It's just like free cycling power. Oh, is this for the... Pin compartment service combat? I'm just gonna put a pinprick. I don't really remember what that does. So this bird, whenever we attack it, it uses a powerful attack. That's fine. Uh, red shoe here. Strike. Uh, we're not going to get any more effect out of this, so that sucks. Rye, is kind of sucky because it's taking up additional draw. And if we don't like get a pinprick, we can't really cycle out of here. I'm going to get a bunch of strength now. Bobble, arms. I mean, no reason to do anything else. I mean, we'll block a ton. But overall, we're just going to continue gaining strength. Luckily, this bird in the back does three attacks. So that's more strength on our end. Well, um... Yeah, I'm just going to duplicate a pinprick, I guess. Get a ton of draw here. It's good, good value. Not the best use, though. Okay. It, enemy loses 60 strength this turn. Okay, that's, does this retain, right? Retain and exhaust, that's fine. Good to have. And prick. Arm theft, give me that. And prick. Alright. Weird hand. And we should bulk up twice. Let's flex. And then that's. I mean, I could do unforgiving, but I don't think we need to. Alright. Another arm theft. We kind of just can kind of like just kind of wait here. Um, they have 150 if we attack them. Let's not yet. Because they're going to do, I think they do like increments of 60. So they do no damage now. Okay. I mean, I have to pinprick them to continue going through. So we will open up this can of worms. Get Mad Gremlin out here. Cat Scratch. Fury. It's not the most damage we've done so far, but we have both the Keeper's Forest locks, so Forest Keeper's lock. So I think we're fine. He is going to do a big attack. Probably 60 damage. 36. Look how many wounds we have. That's kind of annoying, but overall, I think he might just be dead already. Yeah, he is. Drop that cage. Let's get going. All right. Final boss here. Uh, we'll take a Fairy Dust, but at... Yeah, you know, made it through. Uh, does not matter what we put in the, the card holder, in my opinion. Let's roll that d20. Boop. 16. Rare potion. Fairy in the bottle. That's fine. And we got the edible armor on the first turn. 
Very nice. Cannot play that. So let's bulk up. Uh, edible armor. Sharpen. Sure. Hit that ironclad. So we got to keep him off of block. This is fine. Really need to get the setup going, but. Ugh. Not what I like to see yet. I mean, there's some block. Fragment, Gremlin Arms here, double ward. That actually will do it. All right, we gotta hit them both. A little bit of damage. Flame Barrier here is annoying, but hopefully we can just do a setup turn. Sure. Not really, but sure. Pins and Needles is actually very good here. Cat Scratch, Arm Theft him. Block. Not great, but not bad. Flame Shield did wear off too. He's at 124 block though. If he does a body slam, we are 133. There we go. Do need to unforgive. Pin prick. Pin prick. 85. I mean, I can bubble barrier. I can do this. I can swap to shield. I think whoever's here will end up dying. Uh, yeah, you're just dead. I'm, I'm sorry, my, my shieldy friend. Uh, you have been sacrificed. Oh, shield lived. Weird. I was not expecting him to live. Red shoe here. Arm thief. Flex. Duplicate fury. I mean, I'm still kind of sacrificing shield almost. Let's get him down to one. We'll, we'll, we'll leave him there. <laughs> Anything else might be bad. Oh my godness, 140 strength. Ugh. Man, we got the wards here. I got the rage break. I can't. Oh no, I can pin pit. Let's prick. If we get something else here. There's another flex. Pin prick. Duplicate the pin prick. Right? Yep, the right energy. Um, keep going. There's knob. Uh, let's go energy. Burp in here. Dance. 35. Oh, he's down to 23, though. I was, like, just doing the math. I was like, have I, am I alive? And yeah, we ended up surviving through it. This whole 10 max HP thing. We'll, we will not beat the heart, I don't think, in any capacity. But um, it will be fun. I think he dies here now. Smash. Body slam. What? He only killed one gremlin, but we all died. That's incorrect. Rude. We did get two perfects, though. Anyway, that's going to do it with this episode, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. That was nonsense. Please let me know if I, you agree in the comments. But thanks again for watching, and I should be back. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. To this Neko next time. All right, bye.